Meet Alex. He's a kid a lot like you. He's in the fourth grade. Here he is, hanging out with his friends on the playground. The sixth graders are having recess at the same time as the fourth graders. One sixth grader, nicknamed Big Mike, is a big bully. Sure enough, Big Mike comes up to Alex and starts picking on him, calling him names and making fun of him. Alex is scared, but he knows what to do. He imagines he's a courageous superhero and runs to tell the sixth grade teacher about it. The teacher puts Big Mike in timeout and makes sure that Big Mike won't be allowed to play with younger kids for a while. Bullies are no fun, but did you know that you have to watch out for bullies on the internet too? Kids who send mean text messages and emails or taunt kids on websites are called cyber bullies, and they can make other kids feel just as bad as Alex felt on the playground. A couple of weeks after Big Mike got in trouble at recess, he sends Alex an email calling him names. Then he writes a nasty lie about Alex on a website that a lot of the kids at school can read. But that's not all. After school, Big Mike sends Alex a text message every 10 minutes that says he's going to beat Alex up the next day. Oh man, Big Mike is really scaring Alex. As you can see, Big Mike's cyberbullying is just as harmful as his bullying at recess. And the worst part is that cyberbullying can happen anywhere, even when Alex thinks he's safe at home. What should Alex do? The answer is simple, but Alex has to be courageous again. He saves the nasty email, the website posting, and the text messages and shows them to his parents. His parents contact the school and give the principal all of the evidence of Big Mike's cyberbullying. Now Big Mike is in even bigger trouble. This time, his parents are notified, and he's suspended from school. Cyberbullying is no fun, and it makes kids feel sad and scared. If a cyberbully targets you, be courageous like Alex and tell an adult, a parent or teacher, about it. It's the best way to keep the internet safe and fun.